What's up outdoorsy dudes? Today we're going to review the Climate Static V2 sleeping pad. So I bought this pad in the summer of 2018 and what prompted me to buy it was how thin my old pad was. My old pad was only two and a half centimeters thick and so I would regularly feel the ground underneath me while I was sleeping. This one is a nice nine and a half centimeters, which makes me much more comfortable on my overnight excursions. It's also much more packable than my old pad, and at $90, it's a pretty excellent deal for what you're getting. Let's start with what I like about the pad. Obviously, there's all the reasons why I bought it, the lightness, the packability, and the thickness, and I wasn't expecting it to be as comfortable as it is. It's really nice for side sleepers and stomach sleepers, which I like to do a lot. And it's also really nice when you roll around a lot. You never really feel a draft underneath you, and you never feel the ground through the pad. I've also never had any issues with it popping or getting ripped, and it's held up pretty well over the past couple of years. There are two things that I do not like about this pad. Number one is that it is not exactly easy to get into the package. You have to fold it in half twice and make sure that the valve is on the correct side before rolling it up as tightly as possible. This might just be my issue because my friend Connor, who owns the same pad, seems to have no issue rolling his up, so maybe I'm just special or something. It's also not the warmest pad. With an R value of only 1.3, it's really only a single season pad. I've managed to get away with it in the spring and fall, but in the winter it's absolutely not going to work out for you. In order to get away with the pad in the colder seasons, pick yourself up one of these. The Climate Quilted V-Sheet. This pad cover costs only $49, it fits perfectly around the pad, and Climate claims that it raises the R value from 1.3 up to 4, or the same as their insulated pads. You can, of course, buy two separate pads, one insulated for the colder seasons, but having the pad cover and the non-insulated pad is going to be a fair bit cheaper than owning two separate pads. Overall, I would say that the Climate Static V2 sleeping pad is an excellent choice for any kind of backpacker or ultralight hiker. I would prefer if the R value could be a little bit higher, say around 2, to make it a little more useful in the shoulder seasons. And I would also prefer if it were a little easier to roll up and get in the package, but this is easy if you've got somebody to help you out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the gear review videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a couple more of them. Uh, make sure to like and share and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next one.